So a ton of people always ask, <clears throat> should I use my personal cell phone for business or a business line? I'm starting a side venture or whatever. And I always say no. It's funny, I just had somebody ask me this yesterday and now I'm gonna show you guys uh, a voicemail on my business line for the blog. Um, why I don't use personal cell phones for any business venture and why it's ridiculous. I mean, you can use, I'm gonna put a link to two or three providers in the YouTube description for the ones that I use. You can use Grasshopper, you can use Ring Central, you can use phone.com. But whenever anybody, this is, this is classic because this happens all the time to me. And so if I were to use my personal cell phone number for every business venture that I had, number one, it wouldn't be professional because then you can't tailor it to the audience. Uh, or the customer. So it's very important to tailor the voicemail to the individual customer. So for 15, 20, even if it's $50 a month, if it helps you get more sales and it helps you appear more professional and everything else, it makes you actually legit, it's totally worth it. And so it makes a big difference, it's, even for my blog. I use a 1-800 number <clears throat> um, for my blog. I use a business line for that too. Uh, number one, because I don't want to give my cell phone number out and I don't want people hounding me after hours. But um, this is basically a textbook answer of what I think when anyone asks, should I use my personal cell phone for my business line? You guys ready for this? I get these every day. I can't imagine getting this on my personal cell phone at like. Hi, my name is LaBondra Jones and I'm having problems with Google. <laughs> um, they suspended my, uh, my yeah. hard knob radio and my video. I don't know why. They talking about I owe them some money. That's supposed to be free. So I don't know why they doing that. And I'm not going to give them my credit card because they had <laughs> took money off my credit card before. So I'm not going to do it. So I've been having problems with them. And so I need to find out they suspended my video. And I don't know why they did that. They shouldn't even did that. Okay. Because I don't um, even... Uh, let me stop this thing. I don't even... Um, I'm a... <laughs> so nothing against this lady. I don't know her situation. I have no idea how in the hell she got my phone number. I'm listed all over Google as a featured partner for, for web services and for other stuff that is completely unrelated to whatever it is that she's talking about because I have no idea. But classic, classic example of how people that start side hustles or start a side business and they don't get a business line or they don't set up a website like they should or they use you know personal contact information, it's not a good situation. This happens all the time. And so it's very easy to filter calls when you use a VOIP provider like I use. Um, you can set up number forwarding services easily but a lot of times you can't customize the voicemail. And the biggest thing is you can't customize the voicemail delivery. So in this situation, she didn't interrupt my day because I, if I'm on the phone, I have the voicemails get transcribed or give me an email notification alert. So when I'm done with a call or if I'm on hold or something like that, I can easily just be on the computer or on my phone and just click play and listen to it. If it's important, jot down the number really quick or just click on it within the phone and it calls the person right back. Um, so I would highly recommend if for anybody out there that is wondering if they should you know, get a business line for a business venture, the answer is undoubtedly yes. <laughs> so.